you would reverse disease, reverse age, lose weight, have more energy than you've ever felt, Increase your sex drive, increase your vitality, make you live longer. <laughs> what would you pay for that? Yeah. Well, there is. What would that be worth? What would that be worth to you? And yeah. the, the good news is there actually is a miracle pill. There's a magic pill that, but nobody well, wants Nobody wants to do it. <laughs> it's not a pill. It's not a pill. And it might not seem like, it might not seem like a miracle when you're in it, but it is. So if you could have all of that in one year from today or six months would it still be worth it to you right so we're in this culture where everyone wants to just take a pill and have what they need so and then we're seeing that with that ozempic right now that's going around this diabetic drug that's like making diabetics not have what they need people are taking it and it's actually really damaging their health for a short-term game of losing weight but it's terrible for you and actually after you stop it makes you continuously increase weight so that's an example of what people will do to themselves to try and take the easy road out now we're here to tell you that there is a miracle diet and no it's not what you think it's a miracle magic pill diet it's it is there is it is out there and it's not what you think. And guess what the greatest part of it is? It's free. It's free. It's Completely free. Completely free. An anybody can do it. Anybody can do it. Any it's, anywhere. It's not about how much money you have, where you are, none of that. Everyone and anyone can do it. Now, we're going to break down uh, the three key players in this and then all of the external things that can have you after this talk, stepping into your life in an entirely new way. So stick around to the very end so you get all the juice and all the sauce. Yes. Because, hey, we're coming up to a time where everyone's ready to just take their lives on really powerfully. So That's right. And this is week five of our Wellness Summit, mm -hmm. The Power to Change. And today we're talking, if you're just joining us, about the magic pill, the miracle pill that you all can create your own just like that. It's free, and we're going to give you the three main components of of this device that you can start using this in your life. It's a miracle right diet. Now. It's a miracle diet. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and and it's it, not what you think. It's not what you think and it's free, which is exciting. Mm -hmm. And most people uh, spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars every year trying to release weight on a new fad diet, on a new this, on a new that, on a on on fancy powders and fancy pills and, and creams and you know procedures because they just want to take the fast to, way out but yeah. there's nothing fast or great That's about right. <laughs> surgery so here's a way to do it naturally and it is for everyone so we're going to go over the three key players first and then we're going to go into the other factors that make a huge impact um so number one is water <laughs> Bah, bah, sounds, sounds boring. Sounds Nobody wants to do it. But most people are chronically dehydrated. And all you need to do is up your your water intake to being half of your body weight in ounces. Yeah. And you your face will start to look like you've had a facelift. Your That's organs right. will start working properly. You'll start pooping. You'll start your body, pooping. Your body will, uh, everything will just come online. And mm -hmm. uh, water is such a a fast way for you to turn everything around. Like your skin looks everything. better, your energy is better, mm -hmm. your det you're actually opening up detox pathways within your body when you're properly hydrated. Um, and we we uh, we actually have people put a little electrolytes or a little tiny pinch of Celtic gray sea salt in their water to add some minerals so that your body actually retains and holds on to some of those minerals and some of the hydration. So water, uh, there's actually, there's a doctor called Dr. Badman who was, uh, he's an Iranian doctor and he was put in prison and he used water to cure all of the inmates. And he wrote a book called The Body's Many Cries for Water. And it's a it's phenomenal profound. read if you haven't read it. Uh, you'll never think about water the same after this, how, how it can cure actually chronic disease. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know, so many people think they're drinking a lot of water, but if you're also drinking a lot of caffeine drinks or fizzy drinks or co uh, coffee, then you're taking water out of your system. So you have to replenish the water uh, back into your system on top of that, you know, uh, half, half your body weight in, in ounces. So there's people 
most people are chronically dehydrated and if you just took this one thing seriously and consistently for the rest of your life your skin would feel look like you've had a facelift you would plump out every you the dryness would go away you yeah. would have what you needed now not all water is created equally and you should not be uh, drinking tap water or those crappy plastic you know the plastic that crushes that's really poor quality plastic so you like even a Brita filter that you can buy at a store and they're relatively cheap Costco things like that um, to, to try and filter the water you're drinking will make a huge impact there's also uh, shower heads that you're showering in so you're, you're you're hydrating your body through your skin with cleaner water as well so we talk about that a lot in our program that's a whole nother thing but water 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 is so important that's the number one thing of the three keys okay What's number two? Number two is move your body. Yeah, move, move it or move. lose it, baby. <laughs> you ask anyone that can no longer walk if they had if what they would give to be able to walk again. And so many people lose that by just sitting on their bum, by letting their muscles atrophy, by by sitting at desks and hunching over. And you are basically putting yourself on a trajectory to not being able to walk. Yeah. Because move it or lose it. You That's will right. lose it. And it can be lost incredibly fast once you turn that corner. It can suddenly go downhill fast and you can say, what happened? What happened is you stopped moving your body. Now, so many people think they have to do something massive like, oh, I have to join a gym and I have to do all these hardcore workouts. And I, no, 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 you don't. The number one way to release weight and to have your body working in optimal form is walking. Which everyone can do That's and great. the number one time to walk is directly after a meal first thing in the morning is fantastic too I want I don't want to take away from that that is <laughs> extraordinary on so many levels and that's another thing that we get into at another talk but yeah so but walking directly after any meal is gonna bring your glucose levels down and stop the spike it, it also I mean babe the many benefits of walking please rattle off you are so good at all this He's there's so many cool things about I mean an object in motion tends to stay in motion right so just by going outside you're going to shift you're not only are you going to get some vitamin d depending on when you're walking but your eyes are going to be taking in nature and it's going to be triggering these ancestral devices in us which is a, allows for forward momentum and and forward movement and if people who are depressed you get them outside you get them in nature there they mm -hmm. there's a mirror of who they are and their place in nature and we're at the top of the food chain so you it's really an interesting there's not just the movement of what it does to your lymphatic system and boosts your it boosts your immune system but it also helps your body uh, process the the glucose and, and the happy hormones, and right? All the all the hormones, all, all, <laughs> and, and just but the the beauty is if you eat a meal and you go walking immediately, rather than your sugar spiking, your sugar will stay low. So instead of storing the fat, your body's going to burn some of those sugars mm -hmm. and use them as energy rather than store them, and then they become fat later. So it's walking is is just super profound, and and it does it does it does put you in momentum and in movement which increases your uh, confidence level so it's one of those things that you can't wait to be inspired you actually have to start taking action and mm -hmm. moving and walking and then inspiration comes and you'll get some of your best ideas for your business for your insights into yourself your life for your family all as you're it. walking because you're moving and your your brain for some people for me when i move my body my brain is still when I'm still, my brain is busy. And like some people are like that. For me, the, when I'm moving, my brain can quiet down. Mm. But if I'm just sitting there, I actually have to work really hard to quiet my my brain down. The term is change your physiology, change your psychology. So if you're in a rut, if you're feeling tired, if you're struggling, if you're feeling anxious, depressed, any of that, you get moving your body, it instantly changes the chemistry in your brain. So it is profound and everyone has access to it. And if you can no longer walk, we've had plenty of clients that really could barely walk to their mailbox and now are walking miles and miles, it's just, take go a little further each day and push yourself and allow your body to to hurt a little bit and keep pushing until you can actually just 
enjoy walking. Yeah. Um, so it's it's free. It's available to everyone. Anyone can do it at any moment of the day. That you you know, there's 24 hours in a day. It's a um, lot. You sleep that, for eight. You work for eight. There's another eight there for you to and do. And most of you don't sleep for a full eight. And, but there's and some eight of you hours don't work for, you for a full eight. So take care of yourself. Do stuff. Yeah. There's plenty of time in there. You just have to prioritize it and make it essential because this is one of the keys to longevity and to a, and to a a, 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 a a life that's filled with, you know, juiciness and and you, uh, agility and, you know, and passion and purpose, you know, all of this comes into walking. It, it does. seems stupid, we but used, it's true. We used to have an RV that if we didn't drive the RV, it would become a broke down palace. Like we had to move that that house on wheels for mm-hmm. it to actually work if it just sat there in the driveway we'd go to start it maybe the battery would be dead or some of the pipes that would have the water system would get a little bit like um corroded we had to move this thing uh, for it to 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 have vitality and our bodies are very no very different very very same. if you're just joining us this is week five of our power to change uh summit and uh, today we're talking about the miracle pill, and we're uh, we're we're showing you the ingredients to be become your own compound pharmacist and create your magic pill or your miracle pill to release weight. And we're we just talked about water. Now we're talking about exercise. We should introduce ourselves. Oh my too. goodness! This is Kate Austin. <laughs> Kate Austin is a magician. She's an alchemist. I am a I am I am a strategic intervention coach trained by Tony Robbins with my master's in neuro linguistic programming. Um, I'm truly obsessed with the power of the mind and how it has the ability to heal us entirely. You know, we constantly hear or we see movies about these miracles. And the one common factor is the person that experienced the miracle believed that they could. Right. And that is the difference. That is the shift. And so even the most impossible situations can become possible if you get the environment of your mind right. And so I'm so passionate, if you can't tell, <laughs> about really helping people channel what their p- power and purpose is and having their mind turned on in the right way to help them heal. Mm. And yeah. then Paul... And I, uh, I grew up... Uh, <laughs> I'm still growing up. I haven't actually grown up yet. <laughs> it's true. Uh, but I forever in wonder and I'm forever and forever young. It's true. And, and forever young in my uh, behaviors. Right? <laughs> uh, so I fell in love with fitness at a young age. Um, I always was playing sports. Had volleyball scholarship for college, and then I got discovered for modeling, and ended up doing a bunch of fitness covers for men's health men's journal and then a bunch of different fitness covers and and really had to focus on my body from the outside in and then as an actor i became an actor um, at a young age but i always had to be ready to take my shirt off in a love scene or a mate or a swimming whatever i had to be fit get my body quick uh, and in shape so i learned some of the habits and things that i would do to do that and then so that was from the outside in. And then my dad got sick 10 years ago and passed away from uh, ALS, Lou Gehrig's. And that put me on a deeper dive into detoxification and heavy metals and understanding uh, neuro de- degenerative disease, which is really plaguing now. Uh, it seems like every day we're hearing more younger people getting not just ALS, but Alzheimer's and early onset dementia and, and, and MS as well. Mm-hmm. These neurological things. And I wanted to find out why. So I, I got really involved in that. And then I got my new uh, functional nutrition degree from IIN. And I, Kate and I, Kate formed this company, Freedom Alchemist, about five years ago. And through that five years, we've, we've taken um, thousands of people really through these lifetime journeys of, of giving them power back in the conversation of well-being. Mm-hmm. And how do they generate energy? How do they generate freedom in their mind and in their body? Mm-hmm. And so together... And, and getting out of toxic loops of medications and doctors and feeling hopeless and all of these things... You can get out of those loops and continue to yeah. get more powerful in your body. And that's what we do for people. That's right. And then together... Together we have a relationship component. Yeah, we talk about connection to self and others. So um, how to really 
heal the relationship with yourself so you're kind and good and loving to yourself yeah. so therefore you can have empowered relationships with those around you so we feel like the triangle is mind body and connection yeah. um, and you get the, those tri- that triangle right then everything else falls into place in a really powerful beautiful way so that's that's what we're that's passionate who, about that's, and who, that's we what, are. who we are and that's, that's why we talk about things like this and we're really a stand that people get their lives back like mm-hmm. a lot of people are in the passenger seat and not really driving their life they're just sort of reacting and being taken on this ride on everyone else's wishes and dreams and opinions mm-hmm. and so we're we coach people and train people on a year-long journey of give, helping people uh, really turn on their intuition and give them some power in the conversation of their health mm-hmm. and their well-being and their relationships. Yeah, and give them a direction to go based on their bio-individual needs. Now, number three. Number three, we're talking about the miracle pill that you could that the miracle diet, the miracle pill, uh, and it's not what you think. That we did water, we did movement, and number three is sleep. <laughs> probably one of the most essential things. That probably the biggest mover. Yeah, yeah. and then this. I mean, you, some people get a lot of sleep that don't move their body and don't drink water, and that's not good at all. So, they, you know, it all, they're, they're very complement. It's another tri- triangle, these, this one. Mm. But sleep is where your body regenerates. And in this day and age when we're so online and so activated and so much blue light and, yeah. uh, you know, wi- Wi-Fi, all this stuff coming through our bodies... It has never been more important to get sleep. And we're also much more disconnected to the earth. We used to all just sleep on the ground. And so we'll be grounding and, you know, getting all of that energy of the earth. Now we're in concrete homes and we're concrete in boxes. boxes and, in our box car. Mm-hmm. And Watch our box TV and box, box phone. Like all of these microwave, boxes. Microwave, box. Everything's a box. And, and everything in nature circle. has <laughs> is curves. Nothing has straight edges in nature. Like hobbit houses. Yeah. So, so <laughs> we're completely defying what is the most natural for us and what in like what environment actually in, in lifts us up and enhances our life so so sleep getting eight hours isn't just like oh that's nice like it's it's kind of an essential thing and the key time is between 10 p.m and 2 a.m that's the time when your body regenerates the most. So you, so getting that quality sleep is so important. And for so many people, it's like, what do you do in the lead up to that in order to get that sleep? Yeah, just like you have a morning routine, you mm-hmm. need an evening kind of wind down routine. And, and I like with it, with when we coach, the way I coach some of our, our, our participants in our year long journey is like to be, make your evening and your time with yourself romantic. So there's a bath. There's like an Epsom salt bath. Your music <laughs> in your house can go a certain, like, calm down a bit. You the should have lighting. Dimmer, dimmer switches. Yeah, p- start bringing the lighting down earlier than later. You know, yeah. from 7 o'clock when the sun's... So it was earlier right now, but yeah. from seven, try and you know start bringing your lights way down and dim everything, or put lamps on and turn off the main lights if yeah. you don't have dimmers, because that is signaling your body to start calming down. You can and, do a visualization every evening. You can read a paper book, turn off your tablets and your screens a good hour or two before bed. You could take some GABA, some melatonin. Not every day I'll melatonin, but there's some sleep molecules like there's even lavender oil you could spray on your pillows you could take organic high quality lavender oil Mm -hmm. mix it in with water and spray your linens so that this is all just creating an evening romance uh with with yourself (laughs) yourself (laughs) obviously if you have a partner they get to benefit they they get to waft through your (laughs) lavender sprays um as well so so that's the sleep Everyone is like, I would say the majority of people are not getting not just the hours, but the quality. And we want to give you, I want to give you a quick couple of hacks on how to have that sleep go a better way for you. That, um, so number one is obviously, uh, we're dimming all the lights and then everybody knows nobody's supposed to look at their phone or go from TV straight to bed. Do not have a TV in your room. That is the worst thing you could do for yourself. Um, get it out as quick as you can. Get like it have out. your room just for sleeping, not for working, yeah, just for it's sleeping. It's like a sanctuary, your, yeah. your bedroom. Yeah. So you want to stay off screens because the last, you know, 20 minutes of what you're doing just before you fall asleep is actually how you're programming 
your mind. So if you're watching the news, which is full of fear and war and all of these horrible things, you're going to go to bed and your subconscious is going to conjure up all of that for you. Um, you know, so what, so that first 20 minutes that you fall asleep, that's when your brain, your subconscious is the most susceptible to whatever you program at beforehand. So if you're scrolling and you're comparing yeah. yourself to everyone and you're doing things like this, then you are going to go to sleep in that space, in that energy. And that's not what you want. So it's not just about, oh, it's blue light and bad for you. Yes, all of that is true. And, how, and, and your brain doesn't know how to switch off. You know, if you think about when we were tribal and cavemen when the sun went down all we had was fire and then we went to bed you know so we didn't have all these extra electrical lights keeping us up and now with all these phones and technology it's just really rewiring our brain and keeping us in a frenetic state and that's why so many people more people have anxiety depression all of these things is because the body needs to shut down it needs to relax so so what you do in those, especially the last 20 minutes, but for the for hour before is, in, is crucial. So a paper book, so good for the brain, um, so good for increasing your gray matter in your brain is just reading something. Uh, read something that's very, you know, brainy and heady so it makes you fall asleep rather than a really amazing novel. But do what you, do what you wish. But these are great ways to fall asleep faster. So, so that's that factor. Another major, major, major one, which not everyone knows about, is it takes about five hours for your body to digest food. So if you eat late or you're a late night stacker, then your body is so busy digesting, it doesn't have time to go into rest and digest, like resting, right? So it's digesting, 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 doesn't get to rest. So as early as you can have dinner and then stop eating, don't snack, then your body has all that time to do its digesting. So when you go into sleep mode, it's not working so hard. It's able to just ah go go deep and go relax into mm -hmm. repairing your body, repairing mm -hmm. your cells. Yeah. And that's when we regenerate. That's why when some people just look you know, they just look young. And it's like, why do you look that young when Thank you're that you. age? Oh, you're talking, you're talking, I missed something. I thought you were talking about me. Um, I'm 67. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you look great. For thank you. Thank you. Um, so yeah, you want to. So you want to eat as early as you can, and then stop eating. It, you, you also then get into a natural fast, which has a whole bunch of myriad of other um, qualities that yeah. we're not going to go into. Yeah. That's a whole thing on itself. But mm -hmm. but that. Uh, that gives you a natural fasting window because if you don't yeah. eat until you know yeah. seven or eight a.m. the next morning, you've yeah. had a natural twelve-hour fast, which yeah. is really extraordinary for you as well. So yes. they are two major things to um, to help you go into that deeper sleep. Can I add fasting. to that? Yes. Sir. Yes. What add as what you're saying? Like as you're you're giving your organs a chance to to stop working just for a moment so they can regenerate so your liver your gallbladder your kidney all of these functions if you're smashing food and going right to bed those those puppies are going to work for several hours and you're they're not going to get rest you're going to you're going to be sweating your body is not going to go into that deep uh that deep sleep so a couple other things so keeping your room cooler helps you sleep and also magnesium so i i'll mm -hmm. put a link to magnesium you'll be some of you'll be watching this later i'm going to put a link to a company i love because they have all seven types of magnesium and magnesium helps close. Did you guys know that? There's seven types and so yes. you need to know which ones that you're having if you're having magnesium. It's nice to get, the, they all do different things but one thing that the, they do is close the calcium gate. So your mm. Wi-Fi, if you can get a timer like a garden timer and just turn off your Wi-Fi while you're sleeping in the house, that'll calm. Some of you are more sensitive to electromagnetic frequencies than you might think and just by um, I work with another company called Somavedic that helps sort of reduce some of the EMF mm -hmm. um, effects on your body and almost like protects your body from them. But if you can just, the most cost effective way is get a $8 garden timer and put it on your Wi-Fi so it shuts off at night so it's not, your whole house isn't smashed. Mm -hmm. um, and then taking magnesium, there's like a couple sleep breakthrough and a few things. I'll put a link down below for magnesium of a by optimizers this company I just love so mm -hmm. um, it's wonderful they're wonderful just so good people as good well, people and they have a, they have a lot they have some uh, digestive enzymes mm -hmm. and a few other things too mm. so that's so, sleep <clears throat> so important so 
Sleep doing... should, I feel sleep should be at the top. Like even water and, and movement, like if you are chronically um, deficient in sleep, you're going to feel like a bag of turds. Like it is, you, it you is. You cannot a... function. You cannot function well. And that will lead to depression and anxiety. And, yeah. And, yeah. And there's no drug that feels will make you feel better than a good sleep like have you ever just woke up from a deep sleep or a long sleep and you're like oh, i feel like a christmas baby <laughs> um, <laughs> that's what sleep can do for you. Uh, okay so we, those are the main three of com- being being your own compound pharmacist uh, of creating your miracle pill your magic yes. pill and um, and here's here's the thing with all of these things consistency and dedication like it's not some really I'm gonna pop a pill and have all these crazy things it's you start doing these three things you'll start noticing within a week and pe- other people will start noticing within you know six weeks and then it keeps going so it's like all it is is continuously staying consistent with these three things and making them the number one part because the foundation of all health rests on these three things okay so you get that right and then we and then and then other things just start magically happening like it is a miracle or a magic pill okay so those three do not skip uh what is it the monopoly do not skip this before collecting pass pass go go before collecting two hundred dollars that's your two hundred dollars those three right Uh, i would say maybe more like fifty thousand especially if you get sick and that's what costs you it so do those three first now here are the other factors that really these are just kind of bonus make things that, a difference that that's that you can add in as an extra Christmas bonus. Yeah. Um. So, <laughs> it, oh, I'm sorry. No, no, go ahead. Are you no, laughing because no, no. I'm all excited? No, I love it. I, I, you constantly crack me up. <laughs> you, I, your excitement. I've met my match for excitement because I can get. <laughs> I can I can go on one and get very very excited and you oh, you might have me beat. <laughs> it's true, it's true. So, the next one, the next most important factor is environment. Now, what do we mean by environment, babe? Yes, well, environment is all the things that surround you. So it could be your friends, it could be your home, like we we're talking about Wi-Fi, but it could also be you could have mold in your house or your basement. Mm-hmm that's completely destroying your life. Mm-hmm. And so we, in our year-long program, we help people sort of become uh, invest- present. present and investigators of what is affecting their vitality and their energy and their their feeling good. And mold, believe it or not, mold's one of the things that take down destroy a lot the of people. Pers- yeah. person. And their kids. And so your environment is everything that surrounds you. But it could also be... And the be, food you eat. Yeah. The, the, the drinks you drink, your, the people you hang your around, friends, the news you watch, the TV you watch, the books you read. Yeah, it's the environment's just about everything. The clutter you have. Everything that's mm-hmm. affecting you coming into your life. So it could be even your scented candles. Some of you are addicted yeah. to scented candles, which they have uh, about hormone. five or six different hormone disruptors. Oh. So you want to be really careful with the things you do every day and yeah. you surround yourself. And Even women, the makeup you're putting on your face. Some, some of, of you, that is so toxic. It is not making you younger. It is aging you under disguise of something else. So, yeah, so and, we bring some awareness to it mm-hmm. with compassion. We're not fear mongers. So no. we want you to become aware of some of these things. And like, you know, your the brand new carpets are off-gassing for several years. There's certain Mattresses. things. Mattresses off gas it's like sofas it's like no wonder listen if everyone wasn't getting cancer like if i could ask you to raise your hand how many of you know someone who has cancer and, and it's or pretty has much, had it when, or it's, it's going to be one and two soon pretty much everyone and some form of cancer and so everything in our environment is affecting the way that our biochemistry works and our bodies are overloaded with toxins and those are coming from not just your internal but you go outside and there's heavy metals in the air from the airplanes, from the, the brakes on the freeway. Our work, you, you can't, you need to, our bodies need to know to be taken through detoxes. Um, we need to move some of these heavy metals and these, these toxins and molds and things out of our body. So we, in our year long program, we actually take you through two major, two major detoxes. Uh, detoxing. So then you'll know what to do for the rest of your life. Yeah. And it creates a blueprint. So you'll be able to have these things for the rest of your life. Mm-hmm. But understanding your environment and how that affects you. And like we talked a little about about your sleep hygiene and your sleep environment. Um, there's, there's no matter what you do in your day and everything in your home, 
you want it to be actually serving you and not taking down your vitality and your energy. And your, Yeah, your energy. So if you have a house full of clutter, it's robbing you of life force you know so you you need to really look at your environment in a very powerful way and that's everything you take internally everything you experience externally is your environment so your work your car yeah. all of it yeah so that's a really big thing and we go deep into that because most yeah. people are not present to what they've created you know when you something gets put somewhere in your house and you're like that's sh- that doesn't belong there but mm. you don't move it nobody moves it and then suddenly it just lives there and it's constantly gnawing at you but you've now glazed over to the fact that it's in the wrong place because you don't know where else to put it that is an example of real estate and energy being sucked out of you for no reason right for no reason and we all do this in our lives all the time it's like what what and then when you finally move that thing you're like why did i put up with that for so long it's so simple. It took me five minutes and now I don't have to deal with that every time I walk past yeah. it. But we all do these things. So having a reminder of being present, really present to our environment and That's looking right. at it under a microscope is so important to actually building life force and energy within your life so that you can have, be and do everything that you want, you know? Yeah. You can have that. So yeah. it's like you just got to get things out of the way. And most of the time it's a process of removing, except when we're talking about sleep, water, and exercise. We yeah. remove things to simplify. That's right. And mm-hmm. your environment is also your water coming on your body, like your shower head. You mm-hmm. can just get a simple filter for it. Mm-hmm. It's your whole, all, everything that surrounds you. But there's also your internal environment, which is understanding your your pH of your body. So like if you're super acidic, your bodies can be able to grow cancer a lot more easy. If you're alkaline, cancer cannot survive. So we give you guys a few um, ideas and, and concepts of how to keep your body alkaline and just a few hacks to like, how do you choose more foods that are more alkaline rich? And also what how to avoid certain foods that are very acidic um, mm-hmm. for your body. And so that, that covers environment. These things are really important. Um, another great thing should we move on to yes, the next one yes absolutely um, and we'll be wrapping this up very shortly here we wanted to give you three but there's a few more that we couldn't have you uh, leave we wanted to give you these a couple these make a extra. huge difference too yeah. these, these help keep, get the three for, right first and then then you build on that yeah and the, the next here is just a veggie forward diet so this is and the, we are not vegetarians. No, no, no. We're not about promoting any type of diet. Some some but, veggies make but yeah. Veggies are full of fiber. They they actually have your bowels working. They and have, fruit. You know, so it's so crucial to have fresh as much as much food in its natural form as possible. So even you know, Paul just discovered recently grated cheese you know like cheese in its full form is okay right grated cheese we've just discovered has all these well packaged cheese that has like shredded cheese in the bag it has like a few caking agents and and two antifungal things in there to stop it from molding in the bag so you want to be careful with so that's yeah yeah, that's a good example of the 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 fresh having just Everything as it's meant to be, you know, anything that's a deviation to make it easier or simpler for you to eat is going to come with extra toxins that that then toxify your body. So you want to keep things as simple as possible and as close to what they were when they were on the tree or walking around as possible, right? Yeah, so so having a veggie forward uh, sort of diet that just means like 70% of your food is high water content which could be fruits as well mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and so keeping the concentrated food which we have our folks get rid of all uh, processed packaged boxed mm-hmm. and, and and bagged foods and all have sugars more, more all of that everything you're eating is a whole food mm-hmm. uh, but the major like 70% is high water content food which is also rich in fiber that's going to be a big lever for you you can still have meat and like not everybody processes meat the same and nobody needs meat every single day it's just not necessary and it's better for environments and animals if we're not just chowing on meat three times a day so you know but everything but that leads us to the next point which is bioindividuality now this one requires you to get uh, like have your intuition come online now 
this is part of our program is totally about that is we you get blood results so then you can see things and then they'll tell you what your body needs and then and then you start tuning in to what works for your body what doesn't work for your body and when you know what to look for it's easier to tune in once you have that tuning fork of your intuition for your body of what your bio individual body needs you'll have it for life but you know when we're super toxic or in or in a toxic soup even though we're healthy-ish um it's really hard to have to tune into that or to understand what that is all about so really understanding your bio individual needs having your intuition of what your body needs yeah. you know there's some foods it's like and it might be healthy it might be like a tomato right tomato, tomato. um <laughs> and every time you eat it you don't feel good right you know and so that's your body saying this doesn't work for me but you're like oh but pasta tomato pasta sauce is my favorite right like too bad it doesn't work for you it doesn't it doesn't feel good in your body stop doing it because if your body's telling you no it's gonna build up something that will create a bigger issue for yeah. you in your future if you don't listen yep. to what your body keeps telling you 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 know dairy for so many people so many people are allergic and they get rashes on their faces or their butt their belly pops out they instantly get bloated that's your body's intuition saying stop this doesn't work for me and it might only be for a period of time that you need to pull it out of your diet um or it might be forever but listen if people continuously ignore their intuition that their body is telling them they will get sick it's inevitable that's right so so part and a part of the year with us is developing that intuition yeah learning how to listen training training that Mm -hmm. your inner guidance system so that when you're eating food you're about to say is this how does this make me feel and and it's also with exercise you gotta say your line what does it does it cleanse or does it clog? It's a great question. It's from Tony it's Robbins, so but it's like, does this food I'm about to eat cleanse me or clog me? And that's just a beautiful and question. And if you don't know what foods cleanse or clog, then it's time for you to get, you know, start <laughs> Googling and start no, looking into things. Just join us. We'll or join us. We'll, we'll yeah. share with because you, you how to do you that. You have to know that. That is just essential for life for you to understand what foods cleanse you what clogs you up and so as you move through we one of the things we help people do is connect to their inner guidance and their and their intuition so that so and how people train someone could be uh pushing themselves so hard in the gym and it's not listening to their body and it might not be what it's creating inflammation and then they just look puffy and stress and and anxiety and it's like they work out all the time why do they look so bad yeah and and it's not right for them they maybe just doing a nice uh, big walk every day would be more beneficial for that person yeah and lifting weights maybe once or twice rather than every single day Mm -hmm. and so it's being being aware of the seasons because every every season also you need a little something everything your body changes and so certain seasons you're more in like of a hibernation rather than amped up and cranking so every season has a little bit of different way of eating and a different way of moving Mm -hmm. and it's getting in tune with that so that you'll you will have a the goal is to have the most energy possible in your body yeah and the blueprint like so what we really teach is the blueprint for your life bio individual blueprint for your life and once you have that you have it for life and that's what's so exciting about it and once you can see how rapidly you can transform your health and your life and your energy vitality relationships all of this it it can you know it's it's work but it happens in this way that just feels like it becomes super easy and just becomes part of your life and then then no matter what happens to you you'll always have that to go back to and so you know People yep. won't have some big transformation and then go back to the way they were because right. they know from the blueprint of their bio individual needs what their body needs. Yeah. And the last one. The last one. It's and this one's this one also. It's 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 important to say this is the most important. But I this <laughs> one is this one is so juicy, and mm, and fun. this is this is like the engine that keeps it all moving in the right direction is your vision and you're vi- visualizing a future that you actually want to live into. So Mm -hmm. creating in your mind, you can have a meditation, you can write down like who you are as an old person. Like, and if I asked you all right now to imagine an old person, like at 80, what would you see? And whatever you see is where where you're headed. So if you see an 80 year old person wrinkled up and bent over in a chair, 
Watching like just watching TV mugging out, or watching TV, fang and darts, or or <laughs> like on some kind of a respirator, whatever. That is the future you're living into. Mm-hmm. Or do you see an 80 year old lifting weights with incredible posture, strong, fit, running, even even running marathons? There's there's 80, 90 year olds running ultra marathons. So whatever vision or visualize or future you are seeing is where you're headed. Mm -hmm. So one of the things we work with our lovely folks in the year long journey is getting them clear on where they're headed, getting that visual. What do you see yourself, the future yourself living into? And we actually, because I have my master's in NLP, we actually have NLP meditations that prime your subconscious mind to getting more of what you want. So I want to give you a quick example that we all know. is if someone says, uh, picture a, a yellow VW, right? Um, and it thinks like, oh, that's a unique kind of car. You don't see a lot of them out. But then if you go out driving, you'll suddenly see them all over the place because your reticular activated system is now tuned in to that frequency of the yellow VW. Now, we process a mil- like millions of pieces of information every second, but our brain can only hold on to 40. So if you have then primed your brain to ha- to for the yellow VW, it starts seeing that. So whatever you prime your brain, to 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 having is what you're going to get more of which is why if you get stuck in the cycle of news or you, you feel like it, it, the end times are here it's desperate it's over it's like horrible right but if you uh turn off the news and you are constantly priming what you're creating for your life your family your vision you know travel whatever whatever it is for you that's really gets you excited yeah. if that's what you're priming then your reticular activated system starts grabbing and pulling those things towards that's you right. so it's very like it's exciting when you can switch off all of that nastiness and switch into what's empowering for you and what you actually want, not what you think you can get, but what you actually want. Yeah. And so uh, in our program as well, we have specified neuro-linguistic programming, Meditation. meditations to prime you three times a day into what you want, to fast track that process, um, to really have you step into your power, your life, what you want on a much faster um, trajectory. Yeah, so. and not give, and not being primed for what you don't want. A yeah. lot of people focus on what they don't want. Um, we're going to wrap this puppy mm-hmm. up. Uh, we, we said we'd give you the magic pill. Uh, we'd give you the, the miracle um, compound, make you the compound pharmacist. The that, miracle diet yeah. that works for everyone. And this is it. For it's, everyone. It's just, it's free and it's, it's just, are you... Are you someone that can do this? If so, go do it. If you need support, that's what we're here for. And we are trained coaches and we love doing this and we help people give us a year. We'll give you 10 to 20 of health span back at the yeah. end of your life. And we have a functional medicine, well, the number one functional medicine team in America right now that, that's on our team. They do all matter. your blood work. Yeah. They um, So they give you the assessments from a functional medicine perspective of how to regain your health. We keep you on track for your bio individual needs and keep you moving in the direction of your dreams. So if that's if you're ready to make t- this year just be extraordinary and yeah. explosive and to fast track, you could do all this yourself. Everyone can do it yourself. It's all free, right? All that stuff. But it might take you two years, five years, ten years if to get the it. same you, results yeah. as what you can get in a year. So yeah. it's just how much time do you have and how quickly do you want all these things? Do you want them like ASAP or are you you're like, oh, I don't mind if it takes me ten years to get to what I want to, then then go after it. Really do it. But if you're if you need that extra, you know, support, love, cheerleading, kicking up the bum, all of those things, then we'd love to connect with you yeah. and and yeah, see if this is the right journey for you. Well, also just look at where where you what you've done in the last year and then play mm-hmm. that out a year from now if you keep going in that direction or play 2 years out, from now, yeah. 5 years from now if you keep doing what you've been doing, what sort of a quality of life 
are you going to have? Mm-hmm. And if and then play out the other scenario. If you had coaches, like we all need coaches, we have coaches, mm-hmm. and people that mentors helping you get really clear on what you want and keeping you accountable. We have weekly coaching where you'll meet with us live on a Zoom mm-hmm. call for an hour every single week that mm-hmm. we guide you and keep you connected to your promises. So play out both scenarios. Where would you be? Whatever you did, where were you a year ago? Where are you today? And then if you keep going on that trajectory, where are you going to be 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now? So what we're here to do is help you move that needle so you end up on the island of, of plenty of abundance of where you actually want to get to rather than perhaps in breakdown palace over here where you were headed. Yeah. So that's what we and, love doing. And if you in one year's time have more connection with all your loved ones, more energy, more vitality, more freedom in your body, uh, a a sense of purpose, joy, feeling pain-free, feeling extraordinary, feeling vital, what would that be worth to you Mm. in one year's time? Yeah. Would, Would that be a worthy investment? I mean, our health and our life is the only thing we should invest in before anything else. Because it doesn't matter if you're a billionaire, look at Steve Jobs, if you, you get sick, health. what do you have? You got nothing. Yeah. These kids all and wife all have stuff, but right? like they don't have him. So, yeah. you know, so what's what is the most valuable thing? You. You are the best thing to invest in because when you're in full vitality, guess what? You get bigger promotions. You have people wanting to work with you. You want people wanting to start companies with you, no matter what age you are. You are inspiring to others and people right. want to be around that. So your opportunities yeah. of what you can create for your life is tenfold when you are filled with vitality and you've gone through a transformation of self mind connection body so yeah so yeah so let's so let's, that's what we're passionate about if you can't tell <laughs> we'd love to we'd love to meet you so yeah. where, whenever you're watching this video either now or in the future there will be you just look down below in the description there will be a way to get a hold of us and you can actually hop on a call with one of our team and we'll kind of we'll create in that we'll give you some actions you can take right away mm-hmm. um, and then if you're if this looks it feels like the right fit um, if you've tried everything and you're ready to actually make a difference and you can hop on a call with one of us and we'll give you some strategies and hopefully some of the tools to come and work with us for a year and that's a proper coaching session which we normally charge 350 to 500 dollars for so you are going to be getting that if this feels like it's the right journey for you um, so we, we, we love hearing people's stories. We yeah. love making profound differences for people. All you have to do is log into our website and check out uh, the testimonials page and you will see you know so many um, so many there of so many different things that seem like miracles. So um, log in and check that out www.freedom-alchemist.com. Um, you can discover more about other things we do on there too. So yeah, we'd love to connect with you. We're, we're committed to making a huge impact on in this world and on people's health so that they can own their health and their life That's and right. get, get it all back. That's mm-hmm. right. So thank you for your time. Yeah. If you know somebody, just share this also with them uh, and just check in the link for all, uh, check in the description for all the, the goodies. Link. The goodies. Woo, woo, woo. Um, that's it. Thanks, all everybody. Right. Have a great one. Bye. 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 TikTok, you don't stop. Bye, you guys. <laughs> See ya.